Fora TV. The world is thinking. There's a debate in the US, something of a debate as you've probably noticed, on uh, the question of whether it's right to frame um, America's present national security problem and the, you know, the issue of terrorism as a war on terror. A lot of people argue that, that is a, a mis it's a mistake to frame it that way that it um, leads to uh, bad policies and um, essentially it makes people uh, more afraid than they need to be about this problem and induces a kind of uh, para intellectual paralysis. Yeah. I'm just curious to know what you think about that, that term, war on terror, and whether you approve of it or disapprove of it. Um, let me see. If, if I indulge myself in a narcissistic way, I'll say I disapprove. If I put myself in the shoes of whoever invented the war on terror, I would say American foreign policy today, I would just typify it as being very honest because America wants to be good, to be found to be good. There's a lot of anti-Americanism going on in the world. The image of America as the remaining superpower since 1989 is one of what are they going to do with this absolute power corrupt, so what are they going to do with it? Uh, are we going to be punished and so on and so forth? But personally, and then again from an intellectually pure way, it's not a war on terror. Um, it's a war on Islam. And I think that is why people like bin Laden are winning. Because if you go down to Afghanistan and you get the only people who say and who can really argue it consistently that they're leading a pure Islamic life in the example of the Prophet are destroyed and you establish a democracy or attempt to establish a democracy and you do that in Iraq and you unfold a plan to do that in the rest of the Islamic world then the argument that this is opposed to everything Islamic, that holds true. And so the more consistent you are, the more, prog you know, the more right. support you win. So I would not call it the war on terror. Um, but you would call it the war on Islam. You want to put a flame under the rhetoric and make it even, it's make not it a even question hotter. Of, it's not a question of flame. It, the United States was attacked on the 11th of September in the name of Islam. They tried to destroy the White House, destroyed the economic symbol of the United States, destroyed part of the Pentagon, and have vowed to destroy and are prepared to go on doing this in the name of their faith, even when they themselves die. Right. With that kind of conviction, you have to sit down and ask yourselves, what on earth is it that they want? Now, the list of arguments from the 11th of September was this poverty, the American foreign policy, and so on, and we see up to the last, the Glasgow bus, that this just doesn't add up. So at one point, you have to understand that there is conviction behind this. So if you treat this in the same way as, say, Catholic aggression in the 15th century, century was treated, Nazism, communism, that this is ideology motivated, it's belief motivated, then you try and understand why. Why are they winning hearts and minds? What is wrong? What, what, is it that is, what is it that they're giving, what is it that we're not giving? Then the situation is going to look different. I'm not saying that we should say it's the war on Islam. But from a genuine point of view, I, I have no idea what else to call it. <laughs> and it wasn't, and I think the thing that we should emphasize again and again is to say it isn't a war that was declared on Islam but it is a declaration of war in the name of Islam on civil society and all the freedoms that we believe in. And there are types like bin Laden who are willing to go all the way. But then there is the Saudi royal family, the Saudi philanthropists, who every day are founding new madrasas where they're teaching people to hate and people are being indoctrinated to go and kill themselves in the name of Islam. Iran wants to get that bomb to destroy Israel in the name of Islam. That's the argument. When the Soviet Union was doing that, the ideological argument was communism, and everybody was told communism is bad, and a strategic plan was set out to destroy and defeat communism. 
and nothing of the sort is happening today. Everybody is just struggling to say, but it's just another religion. It's not another religion. I, you can disagree with me, and I, I really welcome disagreement. And I hope, I hope, I hope I'm wrong. But if you ask me, have I reached any other conclusion? I haven't.